Hello everyone, welcome once again to my channel. Now in this section we are giving another um, question on uh, method of movement and then let's look at how we can solve this question. So we are giving the piecewise function f of s being equal to um, 2 alpha squared over s over um, s cube then s is greater than um, alpha in this case. So the question says you should find a method of movement estimator for alpha so basically we are looking for what alpha is then again this is a continuous um, case for the method of movement and then we said that for the continuous case we have the e of s being equal to the new which is also equal to the s by a is equal to the summation from as a positive infinity to negative infinity x multiplied by f of x here dx right so in this case we have x bar here being equal to um, we are given the um, the conditions where we uh, the question says that s x here is greater than um, alpha so which means that alpha here is the lower limit and then the highest um, value you can get for x here is just um, infinity positive infinity in this case so we have x here multiplied by f of x so f of x is just the piecewise function which we are given here so 2 alpha squared divided by s cube here and then we have the x here now what we are going to do next is just to substitute um whatever uh, thing which it does not relate to x here outside because it's basically a constant so if you look at the whole thing we have um alpha squared here 2 alpha squared is a constant so let's bring it out 2 alpha squared outside here and then we have infinity alpha here and then we are just left with x here multi uh, divided by s cube so we realize that s will cancel uh, one of the x here and then we are just left with 1 over s squared here the x here right so in this case s by here equal to 2 alpha squared and then over here we have uh, we are integrating this so uh, to integrate um, this we can write the whole thing as um, alpha here so we can just send this thing to the top there and then we can have something like this the x in this case so from here we can have um, s bar here which is the mean here being equal to um, 2 alpha squared and then from here integrating this is just going to be um, you having minus 2 here we add 1 to the exponent then we divide by what the exponent is and then remember it's from infinity and then alpha good so from here we have x by here being equal to 2 alpha squared and then what we are left with is remember it's negative so let's bring the negative here and then we have um, just this to be s to the power negative 1 so we can write s to the power negative 1 as 1 over x in this case that's what we are left with so infinity and then alpha here and then this is just going to give us 2 minus 2 alpha squared and then we have 1 over infinity minus 1 over alpha here so the mean here is basically going to be minus 2 alpha here now 1 over infinity 0 minus 1 over that here and then from here we just have this to be equal to so if this 0 and this multiplies negative will cancel negative and therefore we are just left with 2 alpha squared divided by alpha just multiplying um, 2 so this goes to 0 and then you are only left with 1 over alpha here so in this case remember the question says that we should find the estimator for alpha so what we have to do is to make alpha the subject but then from here we can just cancel it out so alpha here cancel the square here and then we are just left with s bar equal to 2 alpha so in this case alpha here is just equal to just the mean over 2 here and that will be the alpha so in this case also when you are given s values let's say 0 0.1 another x value here to s2 being equal to 0 0.2 s3 being equal to 0 0.3 so to find the s bar you just have s bar being equal to 1 over n here the summation of the s value so we just have summing the whole of this up we are just going to get 0 0.6 so we have 
0 0.6 divided by 3 and then that will be s bar so we just have 0 0.6 here divided by 3 divided by 2 and then you can just get the value of alpha provided you are given the s value but then since we are not giving s values this is just an example since we are not giving s value then alpha will be equal to um, the s bar divided by 2 which is the mean over 2 in this case so thank you very much and then i'll see you guys in another section